This video shows you what to do if your printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded. Sometimes the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is powered on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Turn to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. Touch the button with a dash next to the wrench icon in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools, then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button again to select Printer Status Report, and then touch OK. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. For example, torn or bent paper may cause paper feed problems. Remove the paper from the input tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper in the input tray, but no more than 25 sheets. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Also, make sure all the paper is the same size and type. Then tap it on a flat surface to get the edges perfectly aligned. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it bends the paper. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. Touch the button with a dash in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools, then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button again to select Printer Status Report, and then touch OK. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper, fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. There is an automated utility built into the driver of your printer that will automatically clean the paper feed roller. To run the automated utility, first click the Windows icon, or Start if you are using Windows XP. For this video, we are performing the steps in Windows 7. Once the Start menu opens, click on All Programs. Then click on the HP folder to expand it, and then click on HP Solution Center. Once the HP Solution Center opens, click on Settings from the icons on the bottom. Under the Print Settings section, click Printer Toolbox. The Printer Toolbox will open. Make sure you are on the Device Services tab. Then click the Paper Feed Cleaning button. At this point, remove all paper from the input tray before proceeding. Once all paper is removed, click the OK button. The cleaning process will begin. The process might take up to six minutes to complete. You will know when it is done when the printer is no longer making any noises. Finally, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it bends the paper. Try to print a printer status report again to see if the issue is resolved. Touch the button with a dash in the lower left corner of the control panel. Touch the right arrow button to select Tools, then touch OK. Touch the right arrow button again to select Printer Status Report, and then touch OK. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the Printer Status Report does not print, try printing it again. Listen for the rubber paper pick rollers. You should be able to hear them rotating. 
Then try slowly pushing the paper farther in until the roller engages to pick up the paper. Be careful not to push the paper in too far, which can cause paper jams. If the printer status report does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step and service the printer. If the printer status report prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing the original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you slowly push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the rollers again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step and then service the printer. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. If these settings do not match, the printer might not pick up paper from the input tray. On your computer, open a document in the program you're trying to print from. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to bring up the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Features tab. Select the Paper Type drop-down menu. Click More, and then choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK to confirm the paper type you selected. Select the Size drop-down menu. Click More and choose the appropriate paper size. Press OK to confirm the paper size you selected. Click OK at the bottom of the Properties box. Click Print to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, Go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.